Okay, so today I'm doing an attempt of a semi-realistic hair in watercolour. So firstly I've just stretched the watercolour paper onto a tile with gum tape. And this is just a little watercolour postcard so it's not too big. And then I've sketched out the hair and I use tracing paper to then trace a faint sketch of it onto the watercolour paper so I didn't have to keep rubbing things out on the paper and risk damaging the surface. So to do this I'm using my Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolours and I'm using a De La Rooney Riga brush in either 0 or 1. I'm not sure, but it's nice and thin and just lovely long thin lines, so it's really good for doing kind of individual bits of hair. So I just started by looking at my reference image and mixing a load of browns that were similar colours and just starting to put down the fur for the different areas that I had the colours of. And this just was a lot of layering basically, so I'm going to stop talking now and let you just listen to the music and watch it for a bit. As I was doing it, more and more parts were becoming completed, which meant there were less parts that I was painting on, so the paint wasn't drying fast enough because I want to keep the texture of each brush stroke. So I started using my heat gun quite a lot, that just sets the watercolour much faster, and it's much better than a hairdryer because it uses a lot less air compared to the heat, so it means that it'll dry it faster, and with a hairdryer, normally you end up like making the paint go around on the page because of how much air is coming out, but with a heat gun that doesn't happen very often. I started focusing more on the body just to kind of get that bit done so that I kind of knew at what point I'd be kind of finished and what the finished result would look like so I could match everything up with it.
now I've done the fur, I'm just doing the eye. Just doing a darker outline around it. And darkening up some parts a little more. Because I didn't want to go too overboard because it's easier to add darkness than it is to take it away. And I added the pupil. And I decided that the colour of the eye was too dark. So I tried going over it with a more saturated brown. That didn't work. So then I went over it with the white. And I just sat that and then painted over that again. And I had the little reflection in its eye. a little more depth to the nose and then I just use the polychromos to add the whiskers in. Use white and then a light grey as well. So that's the finished piece. I'm really proud of it considering this is my first attempt of a realistic, well semi-realistic animal in watercolour. Thank you for watching!